hi guys welcome back hope you all are doing good in today's class i am going to explain how to create the dashboard in the dynatize okay dashboard is an important feature in all the monitoring tools where you can see the entire infrastructure information within a single screen okay i'll show you how to do that so i'll just connect it to the dynatize console and here you will find an option called dashboard if it is not present inside the priority options then you can search here with the name dashboard and you are able to see that inside the observer and explorer okay since i made it as a favorite it is coming automatically here so once you click on that this is how the infrastructure looks like and at the right hand side you are finding an option called create dashboard so just i'll click on that so as soon as you click on that it is going to ask the name okay which with the what name you are going to represent this dashboard i will give it as a infra level so inside this dashboard i am adding the infra level information so i just selected that and clicked on s so once you click on s this is how it looks like here you are going to configure the entire thing at the right hand side you are getting the different different visualization options like graph option top list pie single value table so many things were there whichever is required for your environment based on that you can choose that okay and here the name whatever we are given the same thing is appearing right infra level right so now i want to get the cpu uses first in the dashboard i want cpu uses in terms of percentage so first what we need to do first we need to select the corresponding metric for that okay how to do that let me show you i will choose an option called graph for the visualization person how to do that just double click on that it will come to this page like this so once it appeared here you need to click on configure tile in the data explorer so click on that it will go to the data explorer page where you can see the entire matrix details and you need to find it here whichever one is required for your environment for host different set of matrix available for generic type different set for database different set likewise whatever required for your environment or your purpose select that since i am uh, looking for the cpu uses i can find that information inside the host so i just click down the host then i'll come down and uh, look for cpu uses yeah you can see right cpu uses percentage and at the right hand side you can see a few more information associated with this particular metric like built in host cpu uses that is nothing but it is given by default okay so i just selected that once you select that just click on run query so if you click on run query you are going to get the cpu uses you can see right uh, how much cpu was there at 105 how much cpu was there at 1024 like that you are able to see the information since i have only one server as a demonstration purpose you are getting the information like this consider there are thousands of server in that case what you are able to see how you can identify that because you are not able to see any information right yes there is a way for that means you just come to this split by option select on what basis it is going to split i'll select host so how many hosts are there based on the names it will split and it will give the corresponding cp usage for each host and then click on run query you are going to get that details okay so now you are not uh, getting any difference here but at the below you are able to see right earlier the name was not there because it was giving a randomly but now since you are selected based on the host this particular host name is dynatrace that's what you are seeing the dynatrace name here and you are able to see the corresponding information associated with that okay so now we have got the information for the uh, cp usage and now i'll click an option called save changes to the dashboard so it will go back to the the name what we have created earlier right infra level you can see right infra level to that dashboard this particular visualization is added once the editing or configuration everything done you can just click on done yes our dashboard is ready and now if you want to add a few more uh, metrics or few more information to the same dashboard that is infra level very simple just click on edit it will go to the configuration page again and select the visualization what you want uh, this time i will go with uh, 
or table okay just click on table so it will come here okay i just did a double click so it started appearing here and once that is uh, cpv is done so we have collected the information now i will go with another metric uh, that is called uptime so i want to know the system uptime okay system uptime in the dashboard how to do that go back to the data explorer page that is nothing but configure tile in data explorer select the corresponding metric to that how it will come to this page again click on this drop down button then click on host and here search for system availability that is nothing but host availability scroll slowly you will find an option called host availability ah you can see right there are two options host availability host availability percentage whatever you want you can just select that just for demonstration i'll go with the host availability then on, i'll click on run query you can see right it is giving some value 35 if you are not able to uh, figure it out what is this 35 and all again if you want to see that information in terms of percentage it will be better i'll click on run query yes you can see right the host is available 29 percent in last two hours why last two hours information only showing in the uh, data explorer or in the dashboard just because i have selected last two hours in our screen it is custom uh, it is also like uh, customizing you can select the values whatever you want like last uh, one day last 24 hours last 72 hours or 30 minutes even you can do the custom value also here like start time end time and corresponding dates also you can choose here since it's a demo one i am going with the uh, last two hours okay so i'll go to the preset i'll select last two hours and you are able to see the last two hours value that is 29.27 percent but you are not able to see any server details here why so because it is considering it as a generalized it is not going to split anything because we have not provided the condition now what i will do i will go to split by and then i'll select the host option and then i'll click on run query now what you are able to see you are able to see the host details also dynatrace is my server name and the availability in last two hours is 30 percent why only 30 percent in last two hours because just now i have launched the uh, this dynatrace server earlier it was in the shutdown state so it was unavailable as soon as i started the server it is available and based on that it calculated the value 30 percent okay so this is how you get the host availability details once everything is done you can click on again save changes dashboard before that if you want to see the information in any other different visualization methods you have an option called here table graph stack column and all so based on your requirement select that one if you want to choose again with a graph option you are able to see the graph as i said before 10 it was set down state so the availability is completely zero as soon as i uh, launched or connected to the server from the azure you are able to see the value as 100 percent so from 10 you can see right 10 to 2 uh, what is the right now value 10 40 so in this particular time period our server is up based on that it is giving the value as 30 percentage so however you want you can create the dashboard it could be a graph single value so it is completely depending on your requirement so once everything is done click on save changes to the dashboard it will go back to the our dashboard again yes you can see right we are at the infra level dashboard now we got the host availability information and cpu information again everything is done just click on done that's it you are able to see the information and your manager will ask no along with these two groups i would like to see the uh, logical disk space or memory total or something like that okay that also we can do i'll go to edit again as usual steps are same and this time i'll go with a single value okay and then i'll click on configure tile in data explorer okay it will connect to the data explorer page and again i will go with the host and inside host what i am looking for i am looking for disk total or disk used whatever uh, for this demonstration I will go with like uh, disk used percentage how much percentage of disk is used i am going to calculate that run query you are able to see the information 15.93 or 15.90 is the 
total disk used information okay not only in single value as i said depending on your requirement you can change it so if i change it to graph you can see right so this is the one 50 percentage that is 15.91 percentage it is using from last 30 minutes this is used in terms of percentage because we selected that metric only right disk used percentage so depending on the metric only we are going to get the result here so then i'll click on save changes to the dashboard it will go back to our top level entity that is infra level and you are able to see all the three information here so likewise uh, whatever the requirement is there based on the metric you get that information okay so what is the main condition here select uh, select the proper metric that is the main thing since i'm playing with a host i am searching all those things inside the host one if there are other services like kubernetes cloud related then based on the requirement you just select the proper metric where you will find the metric details that information present in the data explorer as soon as you click on the configure tile it will automatically connect to the data explorer just do a three to four minutes of glance you will come to know what metrics you are going to use okay this is how you can create the a dashboard within a few clicks once the dashboard creation is done again if you want to make a modification like if you want to export if you want to share if you want to create a pdf of it yes all those options are available in dynatrace where you can see that information just click on these three dots you are able to see that clone share subscribe export delete configure print pdf so each of these option is having their own importance for example if you take in a clone what it will do as the name indicate it is going to create a new dashboard with the same name same configuration everything will be same that is what we call it as clone right so if you click on that it will do like that next option is share if you want to share it to any one of them uh, then you can go with the option called share okay and subscribe what does mean by subscribe subscribe means how often you want the report for monthly you want for weekly you want how you want based on that you will get that information for example if i click on subscribe and then enable reports it will ask here i want weekly i want monthly like that you can select here and what is the next option export if you click on export option it is going to export the complete dashboard in terms of json file you can see right infra level dot json next option is delete if you don't want to use the uh, dashboard it is no of use just simply click on delete it will directly vanish next one is configure configure is nothing but it's like an uh, just edit only if you want to make a further modification to this dashboard just click on the configure you can do the setup like if you want to add a further more information like disk total like individual disk information you want yes you can do that how just click on the configure select the metric save it that's it next one is print pdf what is print pdf i just click on the print pdf so it has created the pdf i'll click on save option so it is going to create i'll just click on downloads and save now inside the downloads that particular pdf file is present i'll go back to downloads yes you can see right infra level if i open that you are going to get the same information and then this information you can share with your managers or customers whoever asked the information right to them you can easily share this pdf so when we use this pdf the situation where you don't want to give the access to the dynatrace console okay the customer want the report information but they don't want the access to the console in such cases you can create the pdf and send it to them or else you can subscribe it so on monthly basis or weekly basis whatever the time you have choose based on that it will go to them automatically uh, considering the mails whatever you have provided okay so this is how you can create the dashboard in the dynatrace hope this session is useful for you guys and you enjoyed i think so just subscribe to our channel i'll keep on posting the dynatrace related videos thank you so much bye for now